Right, hello everyone. Today I want to talk about Farina and healers. Because when you use Farina on a team, you're basically always going to want a healer. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to max out her fanfare. The game has various healers that you can pair with Farina. You've got people like Cookie. You've got Benny Boy. You've got Diona. You've got Kokomi. Jean. Trying to think who else? Baiju, obviously, he's a great healer. And then you've got the sort of, oh, and you've got Yao Yao, she's also a very good healer. And Noel, also, you know, in the past, not been thought of as a particularly great character. Maybe this will be different, you know, this will change now. We'll see in a little bit. You've got Chi Chi, you've got Sayu, and you've got Dory. We're not going to talk about Dory, so. Sorry, <laughs> that, that one's not going to happen. Right, so the interesting thing about Farina is her skill will drain everybody's health in the team. See, it's just slowly going down. So she would naturally pair quite well with a healer like Baiju who can heal the whole team. And he is quite kind of unique because he's the only healer in the game that can heal everybody with his skill. And everyone's back to full health. And the reason why you need to be able to heal everyone else up is not just for actually, you know, uh, keeping everybody alive and above 50% in health. It's also because when Farina stacks fanfare, it's from going down in health and up in health. So in order to get the maximum damage buff and healing buff from her, what you're really going to want is a way to get the health of the team back up really quickly which is one of the reasons why Jean is thought of to be a particularly good character when it comes to being paired with Farina. Now I have used Jean a fair amount. I've got uh, this team, which I like very much, does a humongous amount of damage and Jean just heals everybody right up. We're gonna run out of enemies really quick here. So I think what we might do is go to the, yep, I think we're gonna to go to the Spiral Abyss because we, we need some enemies that are not gonna just be permanently gone. I'm just gonna stick this team on, which I like very much. Uh, where's Jean gone? There we go, Jean, Farina, and Zhongli. So this team is great. And you do a uh, burst. So now we're stacking fanfare. And now we've got a fairly substantial amount of damage coming out of Nouvellet because he's got those fanfare stacks, so he had them. Doesn't have them anymore. But this is why we need plenty of energy recharge on Farina. I'm using her with the... Uh, oh, no, you don't, matey. There we go. And we're back in business. I didn't have the, I didn't do Farina's first, did I? No, Jean's first. Come on, Jean! Thank you. Ah, <laughs> I think I'm running out of time on, yeah, ran out of time on Farina's. Um... Yeah, let's put that back on. See how uh, Jean's basically just one button pushing everyone right back up to full health. That's what we want when using Farina, because it just maximizes those stacks. That wasn't very quick. I've done that quicker. But, you know, I was talking at the same time. That's my excuse. So now let's have a quick look at what happens if you put... I'm going to put Cookie on this team as well. And we'll, have a look, we'll have a little look at how that changes things. Because 
one interesting thing about Farina is just to sort of slightly try and make the single target healers slightly more useful, she does have a passive, this passive, which means that if you can overheal, especially if you can overheal consistently, then she, Farina, will actually heal the whole party, which makes certain healers slightly more viable people like Benny if you absolutely build him with max uh, healing bonus and all the rest of it then he can although he doesn't heal if you're above 70% he'll heal when you're below 70% and if he heals more than 30% you will overflow the healing which will trigger Farina's healing which will give you something extra on on your other characters and also then you can swap to them and maybe do the same thing and get a bit more overflow healing and that's basically the idea with the single the single uh target healers let's have a quick look at that see if we can get that to actually work i don't, i mean I, I say see i've never actually tried this before so this could be a complete disaster and we'll put Zhongli on there as well. So this is going to be um, a, an awful team. I wouldn't recommend anybody uses this team. We're just trying stuff out. Right, so we're going to turn this on now. Yeah, there you go. See, we're getting the, we're getting the whole team healing now, aren't we? Which is not so bad, actually. I will have order. Actually, that did work probably slightly better than I was thinking it would. The only slight problem is because Cookie takes her own health down, it means that you're, um, you can actually struggle to, um, what's the word, you can struggle to get her to that 100% health, there we go, we've got the 100% health, there you go, now you see the whole team's getting some healing, and now they're not anymore. I'm not even concentrating on the enemies, I'm just you know, doing the healing. So she's sort of keeping up with the, um, she's sort of keeping up with uh, the health drain from Farina, but not quite really. <laughs> I haven't even used Baiju yet. Ah! That was no good. Cheeky. Right, okay, this looks like a good point to use, uh, use Baiju. <laughs> Whilst we still have somebody alive in the team. I'm not actually hitting anybody here, I'm just sort of relying on uh, Farina's minions to do the, the job that they need to do. Which they do very efficiently, I might add. Sort of spreading around, doing what needs to be done. <laughs> Ouch. Yes, yeah, stop that. As you can see, it's much easier to keep the uh, the health of the team higher with Baiju. Although, in fairness, we're not having to contend with corrosion anymore. So there's that. <laughs> As you can see, Baiju is a, a great pair for uh, Farina. And Farina does a fair amount of damage. She 
basically, okay, so we did have Cookie's Hyper Blooms helping out at the first half of that, but yeah, Wait. it's um, it was interesting. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised by how effective Farina's team wide heal healing can be. You just need to be able to consistently overheal, and that is fundamentally the problem with Kuki is that because she brings her own health down, which doesn't help. We weren't getting it over, we weren't overflowing on the healing. And although obviously normally when using Kuki you'd swap to somebody else, it still takes time. Her healing is not that quick, so it takes time to actually overflow it. Whereas if I use somebody like Kokomi with her on-field healing, and we use this like this, I'd really like an Electro. Okay, fine, we'll do this. We've got two kinds of healing going on here now. We've got... We've got the team-wide healing. And we've got the individual healing that you get with uh, Kokomi. So this is the team-wide healing. And as you can see, we're going to... You know, this she's not actually a healer build. This is a support build that I use on my freeze team normally, so... Oh, can't find the right characters. Okay, that was rubbish. Why did they do that? I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can get the Vigidi's health up a little bit quicker here. Can we get some overheal? Did we get some overheal from Farina? Yeah, we're definitely getting some overheal from Farina now. Yeah, I think, um... It's no good. Too much damage. Not enough shield. Right, well this team is, is done now. Because we don't have a healer left. See? Anyway, that was fun. It's so interesting to play with. I think I would recommend actually having a, a proper healer build for Kokomi because as you could tell, it was taking an unacceptably large amount of time to actually uh, heal up the whole team and Kokomi can do it fairly instantly. Right, who else? What, are, what other healers do we want to showcase? Oh yes, I'm actually quite a big fan of Charlotte as a healer. She's fairly strong, surprisingly. Uh, I just need to get this in the order I'm used to. There we go. This is a team that I sort of have played with a fair amount as I was building Charlotte and Dia. <laughs> and that was interesting. But yeah, I, it, she did something eventually. It's been a long road to making her do anything at all, quite honestly, but can't have everything. Uh oh, no, no, not the pyro shield. Kill anything but the pyro shield. <laughs> and everybody's full health again. Oh yeah, 
Go deer. <laughs> I quite, I, I, I quite like the character of Deer, and I quite like what she brings to the table. But it's um, Let's get that healing in there. There we go. You see. I wish I'd done that after. Uh, <laughs> in his burst, but oh well. Come on, gloves off, that's it. Just put these dudes down. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> I have a serious energy recharge problem on um, uh, on Dia. But you know, I mean, you know, she's a tricky character to use, and obviously she doesn't work that well in this against these enemies anyway. You know, she obviously contributes nothing to the Pyro Vector. But you know, we did it. It's quite a tanky team, that one. You know, it's, uh, I actually quite like it. But as you can tell, Charlotte is a perfectly reasonable healer to be paired with Farina because very similarly to Jean, she just completely buffs everyone up to, you know, 100% health, almost from zero. It's a huge amount of healing, especially when you combine that with the healing uh, bonus buff that Farina gives when her burst is active. So yeah, quite um, quite pleasantly pleased with how well that did actually. I haven't used that uh, in the Abyss. I used the Gene team with um, the Hydro Dragon and the Hydro Archon, which uh, is quite a combination. But um, yeah, that, uh, that went better than I thought, albeit still far too slow. But you know, it's too slow because my artifact quality is rubbish. That's the number one problem. I build too many characters, so my artifacts are basically naff. Let's see, what other healers could we use? I'm not even going to talk about Prototype Amber. If you have a couple of those on the team, or you've got one of those and a single target healer as well, then you do have some potential for success. Diona, she just doesn't heal enough. She's single target as well, so I wouldn't recommend really going down that route. I could have used her instead of Layla, but Diona's shield is not as good. And to be honest, those enemies on floor 12, they use a fair amount, you know, they do a fair amount of damage. Good amount of healing is usually well worth it. Yao Yao's problem is she has to be on field in order to actually do uh, the sort of the team wide healing and she heals fantastically when you do that, but it takes up five seconds of Farina's you know buff time, and yeah yeah doesn't do a huge amount of damage. So there's that. Also, I want to just say I think one of the things about Farina is because she needs a healer, and because you often find your parties at like half health or around, you know, it's not full health is the point. You actually often find yourself wanting a shielder as well, which means you've now only got two slots left. And on top of that, because she doesn't buff Hyperbloom damage in particular, or Burgeon, or any of the tr transformative reactions, I always feel like, you know, if you were to do something like this, it would work, but, there's, you know, you're buffing Nahida's damage and Farina's damage, which is certainly not negligible, but it isn't, you know, she's not maximally buffing damage, if you see what I mean. So, yeah, I mean, what probably would be fairly, will work fairly well, is if you did something like Farina, Kokomi... Yelan and I would put Zhongli on there or whatever strong shielder you've got and then you know you set everyone up which I wouldn't do in that order I would do it in this 
order probably um, yeah I do it in this order and I think this would probably work quite well actually um, let's give that a crack I really must sort out my um... okay I've got Farina in the wrong position I can see that now but oh well Yeah, see, so the problem here, you see, is I'm, I'm going to be giant... Oh, hang on, where did those claws come from? Yeah, I'm going to use the burst at the right time here. A lot of hydro flying around here at the moment. So If we can preserve our uh, no, we can't. I'm just, I was going to try and preserve our bears, not that we need them in the next floor anyway. Just on principle. Ah! Yeah. I mean, C2 Yulan. She's always going to be making a difference. That is the interesting thing about Farina, honestly. She. Her requirement for a healer and a good one, a strong one, does lead to some interesting team designs and it's brought quite a few characters that previously wouldn't have been considered particularly efficient to use, you know, back into the meta, so to speak, like Jean, for example. I rate Charlotte. So if I was going to order my favourite healers for with Farina, it would be Jean, Charlotte and then Baijiu. And I think Noel could actually be very good. I've got a team that I'm using with Noel, where's it gone? Did I eradicate it in order to do this? I did, didn't I? Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, basically it's this team, but with Noel here. And I think that's a really good team. My problem is that my Noel wasn't built properly and she didn't have the right artifacts. So at the moment her healing is appalling and um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's not really worth it. But she will be good, I think. I can certainly see the potential there. I think Jean probably comes first in terms of healers for Farina, just because that VV uh, resistance shred that she can apply is really handy. That's, in case you don't know, from the artifact set, very distant veneer. It's going to reduce the uh, resistance to the element that's swirled and that's great. She's also quite good at battering, especially she's got a Favonius sword, so that works out quite well. Uh, Charlotte, again, she is also on a Favonius weapon because, you know, what's the point of healing on a burst? If you don't have the burst ready when Farina uses hers, then it's a big problem. She's actually on Blizzard Strayer because, you know, I'm sort of main DPSing her in that team which is interesting. She doesn't really do any damage, but she does keep people frozen while Farina's minions do their work. So there's that. And also she's a C6, so she does actually have some healing as well that, um, that she can apply to herself. And if she overheals herself, then that will, of course, still trigger the team-wide healing from Farina. 
Baiju. You're typically going to end up using him on, on a deep wood set, which is not going to be the world's best healing in the world, but he does do a lot of healing anyway, so I think he's very good. I think the big problem with Baiju for Farina is it's often quite tricky to build a proper Hyperbloom or Burgeon team with a healer and a shielder that actually works well and outputs good damage. And on top of that, her buff, the you know one of the main reasons you use Farina, doesn't actually apply to those transformative reactions. So mm, I'm not so sure about him. But yeah, these are my these are my three top pick healers. But one thing I would say as a caveat is that I mean Yao Yao certainly she can be good. I mean if you can dodge, if you're good at dodging, then obviously everything's different. I actually think that Noel is is a good is a good fit here for Farina. So I would go like this, and then Zhongli. Where's Zhongli gone? Uh, there we go. Let's go get ourselves some answers. Yeah, this is this is my know all team, and um, and I find it to be very good. You know when there's just certain characters that are just overpowered. Um, that's basically Yelan. And also, I believe, actually, Zhongli as well. Should have done that the other way around so I could catch those particles, but oh well. Ah! Around there. Still fairly confident that actually most of this damage is coming from uh, Yelan. This is where I find myself slightly out of energy for uh, Noelle. But you know, like I said, she's a work in progress. Wait, come back here. Take that. Having tons of defense on your on the field character is no bad thing, by the way. Ooh. And she's still got some burst left over from last time. Ah! That's the only slight problem is once her shield breaks you find yourself not having um, the necessary uh, healing that as you can tell we're um Come on, heal everyone up. Yeah. No, well, she works, or at least she will do. And that is it for my Farina Healer Roundup. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. If you have, remember to leave a like and subscribe. We'll be doing more videos. I'm hoping to get Ayato in just a few days' time. So I'll obviously have to make a video about him. The most flexible Hydro in the game, sort of. Certainly the most flexible sort of DPS. It can be on-field, it can be off-field. But he's a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, you know, master of none. So that'll be something we'll be covering off in a few days' time, probably in the next video. So remember to leave a like to this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will hopefully see you in the next one. See ya!